A major part of mastering After Effects is mastering the subject of alpha channels, in particular, knowing how to solve problems with alphas when they come up. Now, one common problem is if you have an object with an anti-aliased or partially transparent edge, and part of the background color from behind that object has crept into that edge. Your first recourse is always to go to the Interpret Footage dialog and set the pre-multiplied pop-up to match the color of that background. But if that doesn't work, there is a plugin effect, Remove Color Matting, which may also solve your problem. Here is an object from a stock footage library that has an alpha channel, but which has a little bit of an issue with a white fringe around parts of its body. I'll zoom in so you can see this in more detail. You see a little bit of white there and a little bit of white edge around here. I want to remove this white fringe. Go back down to 100% for now. Now I suspect since the fringe is white that this was shot on a white background. I'll double click it to open it up in its layer panel and I'll set this to RGB straight. That says take the alpha channel out of the equation, show me just the color channels. And lo and behold, it is shot against a white background. Okay, to get rid of that fringe, I'll select my layer and apply effect, channel, remove color matting. Now remove color matting defaults to attempting to remove black from an object and you see it's actually made this edge worse before, after. What you need to do is to enter the correct background color into remove color matting. In this case, I've already identified that it was a white background. I'll click OK, and now you'll see that my edge, my white fringe, has disappeared. Before, after. I'll zoom in again so you can see this in greater detail. Here's the base, before, and after. Quite a nice improvement. Now another case where this comes up is if someone supplies you stock footage that has the alpha channel separate from the actual image. Here's footage of a gun being fired, and here is a separate mat that's been supplied by the stock footage house. And you'll see they've done a nice favor here, cutting out the gun and attempting to reduce the black background that's in that flame. To marry these two layers together, I need to bring up the track mat panel, F4 toggles between switches and modes, and set the bottom layer, the footage, to use the luminance of the matte layer to cut it out. And now I have my muzzle flash against an alpha channel. And there it is against a black background. Okay, this looks pretty good so far, but let's say I need to composite this against something else, maybe something with a white background. Now I'm seeing some of that black background from the original footage creep into and contaminate the edges of this muzzle flash. Well, again, I will use remove color matting to attempt to fix this. In this case, its default of black was indeed correct because the footage was shot against black, and you can see where it's cut the black out and left me with just color, before and after. So this is a case where it works really well. By the way, this would not have worked if I attempted to apply it back in my original source footage. I'll set my background color to white. Okay. Select my footage layer and apply effect, remove color matting, no effect. I'll select my matte layer and apply Remove Color Matting. No effect. Remove Color Matting needs to work on something with an alpha channel. And this stock footage does not have an alpha channel. It fills the whole screen. Therefore, I needed to have the two in their own comp with a luma mat applied, creating their own alpha in this pre-comp, and take that bundle and put it into a second composition for Remove Color Matting to perform its magic. I'm running After Effects CS4, so I'll tap the Shift key to bring up the mini flowchart, and you'll see that my little stack of my two channels with a separate alpha go into this Remove Color Matting comp, and that's where I'm applying my effect. Now, Remove Color Matting is good for solving problems with your source, but sometimes effects can introduce problems with the alpha channel. To learn how to solve those, go watch the third movie on Channel Combiner. We'll talk more about pre-multiplied and straight alphas.